Blue City leader, leaders fearing a, quote, nightmare winter uh, uh, while handling with, uh, with a surge of migrants coming from Biden's broken border. But Biden's DHS seems to be more concerned about really important things like using preferred pronouns for illegal immigrants. A new CBP memo orders agents do, quote, do not use he, him, she, or her pronouns until they have more information about or provided by the individual. Here with the reaction is former acting DHS Secretary Chad Wolf. Secretary, I, I, I know that this is an issue that Democrats and liberals really care about, and they're earnest in their belief that it's incredibly important, but understanding all that goes on in crossing our border, all that, that even the migrants that come here illegal go through, is that really where their focus needs to be? Well, absolutely not. The focus should be actually ending the crisis that's been going now for 35 months. So this is really an insert, insult to Border Patrol agents who are doing their very best uh, to try to apprehend these individuals, in many cases dangerous individuals coming across that border, uh, and to be told by the Biden administration that you, you, know, you now need to be concerned about pronouns. And remember, this is the same administration that said, we can't call me legal aliens anymore or illegal entry into the United States any longer, even though those are terms defined by U.S. law. Um, they seem more concerned about making sure that we uh, characterize and describe what's going on on that border uh, versus actually trying to stop it. That's what these Border Patrol agents want to do. They want to stop the invasion. They want to stop this crisis from happening. And the, board, and the Biden administration doesn't appear to be interested in that. Yeah, if we get past this surface level talking point, which I think is ridiculous myself, we get to more of the root of the issue. Uh, there are hundreds of thousands of illegal migrants living in cities all over the country. The best research I could find shows more than 100,000 are in Charlotte and Austin. Uh, I believe Boston and Philly have more than 200,000. This is as of two, 2020. Yet 130,000 in New York City has apparently crippled the city of 8 million. New York City Mayor Eric Adams told Fox News Digital, as the temperature starts to drop, it is crucial now more than ever that the federal government finish the job they started. We need meaningful financial help and national decompression strategy. New York City cannot continue to manage a national crisis almost entirely on its own. I don't want to lead into this too much, uh, Secretary Wolf, but what, what I want to know is with these Texas border towns of 30,000 people taking in 50, 100,000 migrants with other big cities taking in more, why is New York acutely crippled by this? Well, I don't know that they are, but the, you know, look, Mayor Adams is right, which is this is a federal government responsibility. And the Biden administration is not only interested in not, in not solving the crisis, now they can't even manage the crisis uh, appropriately. They're not giving uh, the amount of resources needed for someone like New York City or any other big city or small city along that border. Uh, and, but instead of just allocating more and more federal dollars, more taxpayer dollars uh, to housing migrants, to feeding migrants, we should be stopping the flow. We should be stopping the illegal entry into the United States and actually enforcing immigration law. Biden administration doesn't appear to be interested in that. They haven't been interested in that in 35 months. Instead, they want more money from Congress to continue to fund their bad their bad policies. And I think that's the wrong strategy. Yeah, it seems to me like New York Democrats got exactly what they wanted and now they're not happy about it. So, Secretary Wolf, thank you for joining us. Thank you. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.